All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up Lava Link as well as installing Java 11 and hosting your music bot on your DigitalOcean server. So we obviously need to make sure we have Java installed. And if I type Java, you can see we don't have it installed. So we're just simply going to go ahead and do sudo apt update. Okay. So let's just let that update. So we're going to type sudo apt install open jdk 11 jre headless remember we need at least java 11 for this to work so uh okay let's just type y let it do its thing okay so we have java installed now so now if i go ahead and type java version we can see we have version 11.0.7 which is good Okay, and that's pretty much it. So now we can actually write some simple Java code. So let me first just test this out. So let me make a directory called Java test, CD Java test. And let's just go into Vim, uh, hello world.java, public class, hello world. And the indentation is gonna be a nightmare, but it's okay. And just make sure that everything works fine. Okay, that should be fine. So now we can compile this. And we can see that we actually don't have Java C. So we need to make sure we download Java Development Kit because right now we only have the runtime environment. So we need to do sudo apt install open jdk 11 jdk headless okay because before we actually installed jre but now we need to install jdk so let's do that so obviously if you installed open j open jdk version 9 jre you would install the jdk version 9 as well Okay, so here we go. We should be able to compile it. And now if I run Java, hello world, here we go. Perfect. Now, I don't think you necessarily need the JDK because the jar file is already compiled already. So I'm not entirely sure. But if you get any errors, then make sure you obviously install the JDK. All right, so now you just want to get your music bot or whatever bot and simply just get the files and make sure they're on your server. Now I have this sample music bot. I'm going to make it public after the video, but you're just gonna go and clone this repository using SSH or HTTPS, doesn't really matter. And we're gonna do git clone. And just type in my passphrase. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm gonna go inside simple music bot. And we're gonna run npm i to install all of the dependencies. Okay, you can see the package.json file. All right, now we have our node modules, which is good. So now we just need the .n file because I ignored the .n file from my repository. So what you're gonna to need to do is just make sure you have all of your environment variables in this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste mine. So there's my bot token, my prefix, my local host. Okay, so these bottom three are for your music bots for Arello. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just leave it like that. So it's gonna to connect to port 7000. Now if you see right over here, I have the application.yml file. If we open it, you can see that the server is on port 7000. The address of local host and this is our password. Okay. Okay, you can customize this. It's up to you. Alright, so now we just need to actually start lava link. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use PM2. So we're gonna do PM2 start hyphen hyphen name equals we'll call it just lava link. And we're gonna pass in the path to the lava link dot jar. So mine is currently in this folder. The important thing is, is you want to make sure the application.yml file is in the same directory as the lavalink.jar. In this case, they're both in the same directory, so that's fine. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and pass in this interpreter flag, so hyphen hyphen interpreter. And we're going to pass in Java 
and then node args is going to be equal to hyphen jar. Okay, so this is going to allow us to run our Java jar file. And now if I do pm2 log lava link, we're going to see some logs. Okay. And you want to make sure that your lava link server is running on the correct port right over here. Just give it one sec. Oh, oh there we go. So you can see it says port 7000. All right, so now I can exit it and this should be just fine. Okay, cool. So let's go inside our source folder. Okay, we can see our bot.js files right over here. So let's go ahead and just do npm run start. And we can see that our bot should be logged in. So now if I join this channel, if I type you can see the bot is in right now and I'm going to go and do play and we'll just simply do let's do some NCS limitless. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do one. And you can hear the music being played. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can go ahead and just search again. This is the same music bot that I have. Let's do it in CS Hour. Same bot that I have in the tutorials, so make sure you go check that out. And I'm gonna select one, two, three, and then stop select. And we'll just do thumbs up. Now if I view the queue, there we go. And I can also shuffle. There we go, perfect. So make sure you go check out that uh, tutorial if you wanna learn how to build a music bot. Or you can just clone this repository. I don't really care. You guys are more than welcome to cloning this, forking it, starring it, whatever, and follow using it for this tutorial. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Very, very simple solution to deploying your music bot. And pretty much the bot is going to go offline when I exit. So we want to make sure we're using PM2 to start up the bot. So I'm going to go and do PM2 start name and we'll just call this music bot and then we're going to pass the path to the bot and then we do pm2 log music bot okay the bot is on and i can just have the bot join just like that and i can just do the same thing limitless and cs select one there you go very simple all right so i'll see you guys in my next video peace